Hi, this is Jeevan. In today's demo, I am going to show you configure log4j to our DFC program, the quantum DFC programs. For this, just I am going to create a new project, normal Java project. I can name it like sample project. Click on next and publish. I am going to create one package structure initially. Wait, uh, I want to check with my previous key because I want to copy the same. to copy the classes also that's why I'm creating the same package name here for testing purpose just click finish also I'm going to add my sample classes to the project copy from here I'm going to paste here so anyway uh, <coughs> I'll copy from back end I'll go back to this location. I'll check the location where it is. Right click the project location. This is my project location. I will navigate to that location first. So this is my project. And then go to source from production migration. So copy all these files and come back to me. So my this sample project. So this is my sample project. So from French migration, I'll paste it here. So I will add it from the back end. So once you cancel, just refresh your project. Right click and just refresh it. So you will see some errors because this project don't uh, have the dfc dot properties the required jar files don't have so what i'll do this project already have those jar files i'll check first you go to properties go to java build path see all the jars are available here okay so this location is see development tool migration migration jars right I'll copy all the jars from the same location to here also you can add it as a dependency project or you can add again so I'm going to add again or you can go to instead of add again you can go to add project but anyway as a dependency project you can add it yeah these are the all the jars I require it just control a open and click ok now all errors should be gone now it is okay now in order to run your dfc program you need the, the program first it will read for the dfc dot properties right so you need to copy the dfc dot properties into root folder that means the source folder here itself so the same way uh, i already have the file i will go back to my You can copy from your content server, C documentum, config folder, wherever it is. See, under source, just copy this. 
so I'll come back to my project sample project source I'll paste it here and also I'll create a log4j dot properties also here log4j dot properties file I'm going to create it here and I'm going to add some content inside the log4j related content this is my log4j related content so let's see okay. so now what I'll do so this one I'll change it to my package whatever package I'm using here so com pro migration right so I'll change it accordingly com pro migration want to enable as a debug so all this okay so it the logs will be writing into this particular location so I'll, I'll just comment this want to this will take the current location or you can just pause the fully qualified uh, path also so this is a log file which is uh, created in the documentum logs folder I will just, just I want to save this Oops, I saved it I am going to go back to my Eclipse program sorry We'll go back to my Eclipse program. So I'll open my new one of my class. So I want to add the logger here. So what I'll do first, I'll create an instance for my class. So enable logger for this class. See, you're seeing this classes are not available, not found. So what I'll do, oh, it's already we can import for com documentum. You can import this df logger from. If you just mouse over here on the red uh, symbol, so it will prompt you. So these are the imports you can already import this is already available in the log4j or jar file because that is already you added into the Eclipse program so this one logger you can use as a apache or yeah i'll use a org apache now now logger instance is available you can print whatever you want uh, you can use this logger instance logger dot debug If you enable the debug mode, so it will capture all the debug logs. For example, if I want to capture the session, so for example, you can pass session created. So session created successfully, etc. So after creating this, uh, I'll do again. I'll copy this. I want to add something else. Upload documents. Right. So here, documents uploaded successfully. I'll get documents uploaded successfully. In our session, what I'll pass here. Uh, upload docs we created instance and. Uh, This might have written anything. Yeah, this will return something, right? So string upload status equals to. So this status I will just print it here in the logger file. So in my logger file, it will be this one and this one. It will be log into my log migration dot log file. Okay, it's supposed to be write it there. So you go and save this file. Else. 
Java program and if you go and check this C documentum there is a no documentum folder right okay no problem so actually as per our log4j to refresh this you will see the log4j dot properties in this we create it see log4j so our log is going to create here right so currently c drive is there but no documentum it will create all this folder structure if it is not available also okay. i will go and run this program It looks it's okay. So session printed session. Okay, now you go back to now you go back to the program executed. So now we will check whether logs created or not. If you go back to so the location C we configured C documentum logs, right? So we go to log C the migration tool dot log which is already created the log file is created based on our log 4 j dot properties file we configured that way right so if you open this file you will see the logs we written two logs two logs right see session created successfully this is the session id right and one more document uploaded successfully right the bulk import successfully the written input set this is how you can just if you want in program you can add more uh, more debuggers so that you don't need to write a system dot order printl and so you can just use the documentum loggers using this concept thank you